Well, hi guys, welcome back to the Needy Homesteader channel. And I thought I would make you guys a quick video. I'm gonna try to make it quick. You guys know how I blab, on and on and on. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make you a quick video of some of the things that I bought recently for our homeschool year coming up. Um, and for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome back. Um, I homeschooled two kiddos, uh, a second grader this year, and I'm going to have a kindergartner who's a little young. She's only going to be four. She's um, turning four at the end of this month. So, um, but I do have an assessment that um, I have for her. I haven't officially given it to her, but we've walked through this several times already and she's passed it with flying colors. So, um, she's ready we will see you know last year she was in our homeschool room doing uh pre-k three and she loved it she loved being in the space she loved the workbooks <sighs> the girl can sit down and do a whole workbook if you let her she will sit down here for hours so i think she's ready um our core uh our core curriculum is the good and the beautiful for both language arts, handwriting, and math. And no, I am not sponsored by them. And no, they do not send me anything for free. They don't even know who I am. And I like it that way. Um, my curriculum that I choose, I buy and pay for with my own money. It is something that um, I research a lot and then I pray about to be quite honest with you. So, um, and before I pull the trigger. So everything that I buy or that I add to my homeschool room is very intentional and must meet a purpose. Um, and I also try to save money where I can. So um, a big part of my homeschool room is my true binding machine, which I do have a video on. I will leave it linked up above. Um, so when I can, instead of buying two books or two copies of everything, I, copy it and I make myself an extra copy. So with that said, I'm gonna show you the few things that I have picked up to add to our uh, homeschool uh, curriculum for this year. I'm so excited. Okay, first and foremost, this year we are going to start on cursive writing. Yes, cursive writing. I know a lot of you have hit me up saying that they don't teach it uh, much anymore in public school. That's true. Um, our school district here has stopped teaching it. It is such a crying shame. I cannot tell you. It breaks my heart. I think all kids should know how to read and write cursive writing and they should all know how to sign their name on a dotted line. Not scribble, not print, not digital type, um, or write in, but actually be able to sign their name. So this year we are starting with a precursive um, writing practice book. And so what I did with this book, um, this is a trace with me precursive practice. This is the cover of the book. I put it on the back. So what I did with this book is um, I ripped it apart <laughs> and then I chose to laminate it. So um, this way, instead of getting it one use out of it, um, you know, you write in a book and then you're done with it, right? So if a, if a kiddo needs more practice, the book's already used. So what do you do? You have to buy another one or you have to buy a different one. I, I didn't want to do that. So um, what I did is I chose to laminate the pages and then this way we can use dry erase uh, markers and use this book over and over and over again so we can get the most use out of it. So I went ahead, laminated the book, hole punched it, and then put it in a three ring binder. What I also did is at, from the Dollar Tree, I got, uh, I had these, I've had these for a couple of years. Um, I just added a pencil bag in the front and I bought brand new thin, the slim line, I guess you would say, um, washable um, dry erase markers. So um, he's got his markers in here. He's got everything he needs in this book and this will be part of his handwriting practice. So, um, and then when Mason is done using it, I can use this for Mina and get a lot of use out of it. So um, I bought that and made that. And then uh, last year we did first grade essentials for social studies, this book right here. And this book is $14.99 and we loved it. And, Ma and Mina actually helped with some of it. You know, some of it was a little too advanced for her, but I still made her a copy and she still was able to sit at the table with us and we were able to 
talk about this and, and and she was able to have her own little piece of paper and she loved it so um so i decided to go ahead and get this second grade edition so what i did with this one this book is 14.99 so what i did is i just made copies and um so i made a copy of it then i ran it through my binding machine and you know laminated the cover i used an astro bright for the back page and sorry there's my alarm because i i have medicine i have to take okay so sorry real life right so i went ahead and i um laminated and put it together through the um the, my binding machine and now i have a copy and i can actually save this book now for mina so um instead of buying two books this only cost me a couple dollars at most to make this copy and it just saves me money so that is mason's copy for that then this year we are going to try um they have several of these books they've got um it's a this the one that i got is 180 days of science but they also have 100 day 180 days of math 180 days of problem solving um 100 and 80 days of social studies and 180 days of geography now i've never tried these this set of books so we're going to try it in science maybe if i like it in science i'll dabble in some of the other books and give them a try but we're going to try the science one this year so um this book was 19.99 but i think i might have paid like 14 or 15 dollars for it um so same thing i took this book i ripped it apart i made copies and then this is the master copy i went ahead and put this through my binding machine and this is of course my copy and then i made mason his own copy when it's mina's turn to be able to use this book i will have it on hand and i won't have to repurchase it so um in fact i could just make her another copy and then i could sell it or donate it to uh, a friend i have lots of Lots of friends who also homeschool, so somebody else can get some good use out of that book. Okay, so along with the 180 days of science, Mason has really shown a lot of interest in the periodic table. So um, we have a periodic table in our room that I paid $3 for at the homeschool conference that I attended over the summer. And so... Ah, so we're gonna just dabble in it okay we're just gonna you know it's something that we'll be learning from now until all the way to high school so i got him the book the secret life of the periodic table and this is unlocking the mysteries of all 118 elements um i've started reading this book and it is sorry i was being called okay so i've sat and read this book over the weekend and it's fascinating there's a lot in here I never learned. So I am super excited to um, go through this book with Mason. And um, we'll just read what he wants to read about and, you know, hold on to this. And this will, this will really come in handy in the next few years as we really start honing in on learning the periodic table. There are some other things on Amazon that I really want to get. There's some flashcards. There's a game, like a board game. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing this with him. So along with this book, um, ETA Hand to Mind sells periodic table connecting tiles. Guys, this is so cool. And Mason loved this when he saw it. So it comes with a laminated sheet of the periodic table. And then it comes with these cool tiles. So you get the periodic table tiles just like that and they come apart really easily they just kind of click up, but just like that <laughs> apart and you can put them right back together and uh, really cool so you know my son learns with hands-on learning he loves manipulatives he loves to be able to touch things and play with things and it just clicks with him when he's able to so I thought he could get a lot of use out of this. And again, this is something we can use from now until high school. So um, a good investment and I am so happy to have it part as part of our homeschool room. Okay, next on our list is Scientist Academy. So this book is really fun. Um, 
It says, do you love experimenting, testing, and making, and discovering? If the answer is yes, sign up for Scientist Academy. As well as learning all about famous scientists, you'll record your own heartbeat, calculate your age on Mars, create a chemical reaction, and much more. Packed full of activities, puzzles, games, and stickers, this is the perfect handbook for budding biologists, curious chemists, and fans of physics. So grab your goggles, put your lab coat on, and get ready to investigate. Now what's cool about Scientist Academy is that these, these Academy books, they have a lot of them. They've got a veterinarian uh, academy, they've got um, an engineer academy. There's, I want to say there's, there's like six or eight additional books, I want to say, like this. So if we like this, we might pick up a couple more. But it looks like a lot of fun and so i was really excited to add this as um part of our science curriculum this year so uh, look at you can make a sundial so they've got a pop out sundial in the front and in the back so that'll be a lot of fun so i picked that up and then um right before we took our little summer break um here we started uh evan moore's beginning geography and I did this, now this is for K through two, so Mina actually started doing this with us. And we didn't get very far in this book. I wanna say we got through the like the first maybe half dozen to a dozen pages, and then we stopped for the summer. So what I did is I decided to, again, make copies of this book. And I went ahead and I made Mason a copy and Mina a copy. Since she's going to be in K and he's going to be in second grade. Um, and it seems like what little we did do, uh, they were both able to do. So again, I made them their own little workbook. And so we are going to be working on this together. It's kind of like... Um, I'm gonna say kind of like a unit stu stu uh, study. Um, but something that we can do together as a group. And then... In addition to that, I went ahead and got a book called Continents of the World for Kids. Now this is, um, let's see, it says this book is more than just a factual book uh, or look through. It is a book that will make you appreciate why each continent is important and why they should be preserved for as long as possible. So this is a read aloud. This is something I will read to the kiddos and um, again, something that Nina can participate in. And then along with that, I went ahead and got Explore Earth's uh, Five Oceans, and this is um, from Explore the Continents. There are, an, there are additional books that you can get. Um, so this one came highly recommended from my sister who also homeschools. So uh, she got this book and um, loves it. So I went ahead and grabbed it and um, I might pick up the other ones depending on how we like this one. So I'm excited to read through that with the kids. And then Mason and I are going to um, continue on after we do the beginning geography. We're gonna move on to maps and geography. Now this is for three uh, grades three to six and we did another geography book last year um, and Mason loves geography he loves reading maps he loves the compass rose um, he he really enjoys it so I really think that he is at a level where he can do some of this he might not be able to do all of it you know goes up to sixth grade but that's okay because this is something we can bring out for the next uh, year or two um, as we're you know moving on and up moving onwards and upwards as you will uh, with geography so I'm really excited about him testing that out and seeing how he likes that book and then last but not least I got a game now uh, for anybody who's new um, and or um, might not know a whole lot about our homeschool room um on mondays through thursday we do core curriculum so we work out of our work boxes we work out of the, our workbooks and our curriculum on fridays we do fun friday and fun fridays my kids love fun fridays um that is a day that we don't do any book work we do all of our learning through games through play um Games are huge in our family. We have family game nights. Uh, we are that family that on Saturday night <laughs> You'll find us on the back deck on the on the on the, on the deck at the patio um, Playing a family game <laughs> So uh, we play family bingo we uh, 
my sister comes over, it gets loud, it gets rowdy. Um, my older boys, we're just a big game playing family, I guess you will say. So um, on Fridays, we play a lot of games. We do a lot of arts and crafts. Um, we might bake cookies. Um, I try to do something special, whether it be like popcorn or, um, you know, cookies and tea. Um, we go to the library on Fridays um, and check out books. We always do something fun. So I added this game to our Fun Fridays. It's called Buy It Right. And it says shop for everything from skateboards to ice cream cones. Take turns purchasing products, adding up prices and making change. The first player to fill their shopping cart wins. The calculator makes it easy and fun for everyone. A great way to improve math, place value, calculator and money skills. So I got this to add to our games and um I, I think the kids love it as soon as it came they were like please can we play it i said wait until i make the video and then we'll play so that is the end of my little homeschool curriculum haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope maybe it gave you a few ideas if you are also homeschooling some kiddos or have grandkiddos um and yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below for me. I will, you know, links are really hard for me, especially with this many, because I have to jump on a hotspot and use my Verizon hotspot up to get my laptop to work. And um, I live in a high tourist area. And so um, even using my phone sometimes is not doable. So what I will do is I will add all of these things to my Amazon, um, what do they call it? A storefront? I think it's my Amazon storefront. I think. Um, if you go there, you should find everything under the homeschool category. I try to keep a track of all of my favorite homeschooling products and, and I throw it in there for you guys. So you guys can go always go there um, and see what I'm using. I'm going to say I buy all of my own things. I buy everything from Amazon. Nothing is given to me. Um, I don't review anything. Um, this is all very serious to me. And um, like I said, I, I really, everything that I buy for my children um, is intentional. So, um, but if you do use my Amazon link, I earn, I think, a penny. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but I do earn a small, small, small fee. And I will be very honest with you, um, all of the money that I earn from Amazon goes right back into home, my homeschool room. I usually buy games with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you want to help fund our homeschool game <laughs> addiction, um, you can go ahead and use one of my Amazon links. But you can always find um, what I have there, what I use for canning. I, I try to keep as much of that all on my Amazon storefront as I can for you guys so it's just easy for you to find what I'm using so um all right with that I'm gonna wrap this up get this uploaded and um, if you have any questions leave them down below I will do a homeschool room tour we did change a few things in our homeschool room this year um, I, I think though I changed my homeschool room every year but this year we got toys out of our homeschool room so it is really just um, for learning and exploring and all of the toys are now in their bedroom and uh, we've really kind of streamlined everything and it's been working out a lot better um, so I'm hoping that our homeschool room can stay a little bit more organized um, we have a little bit more room to play we like to play our games on the floor we like to build puzzles on the floor so I'm hoping that this gives us a little bit more room to kind of stretch and grow um, we also introduced uh, desks this year for independent work um especially for mason when i'm working with mina so i will show all of that to you guys um maybe in my next video maybe i will try to get that done in the next video i'm still putting um together all of their work boxes and their curriculum for this year making all my copies and all that not sure when we will start homeschool um usually we start the day after labor day um but the kids are really excited about starting this year and they really want to start early. So we may start Monday, <laughs> next Monday. So um, we'll see. I'm going to work really hard to get everything organized and ready to go for them and get all the last minute supplies that I need in. So, um, but I will do a homeschool room tour for you guys. So with that, I'm going to wrap this up and um, I'll be seeing you guys soon. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>